So in this video, I'm going to show you how to give intramuscular injection. You assemble your syringe and your ample bottle. But before then, you want to check if they have expired, if the syringe has expired. The injection you want to administer this ample bottle if it has expired. So you check and you make sure you open from these dotted spots. Okay, so that's it. But some ample bottles do they are very hard to open so you may want to break it with a chitul faucet so you aspirate your medication after which you quickly recap your needle so this is the recapping while you take it to the patient's bedside okay so this is just a quick tutorial now this is assumed to be a human female okay this is a male buttock actually so before then you want to make a cross sign okay from top to bottom and make sure you administer at the upper outer quadrant upper outer quadrant this is the left buttock okay so it is the upper outer quadrant the reason why is because there are no much nerve endings there i mean sciatic nerve but in this video if you watch carefully you will see there was no ensuring that the tip of this syringe doesn't touch the paper because it could get contaminated so quickly you recap after which then you get or look for your ample bottle and aspirate the medication so quickly after making the first cross sign on the buttock again you are meant to make another quick cross sign the reason why is, is because you really need to be away from the sciatic nerve so after which you make a dotted sign on the buttock which means that is the spot where you are going to administer that medication so there is two differences here or there are two differences here as the case may be so if you are given on the right side you are to differentiate carefully from the sciatic nerve endings okay so after that has been done you get your medication closer to you all your equipment and instruments they all come closer to you now there is something health practitioners don't do before they administer medication they just rush straight to inject not knowing that there is a way they are to place that needle that will make that patient not to feel any pain and that is placing that needle in a slanty position because when you place it in a slanty position it will pass in between nerve fibers or nerve fiber endings so that it will not cause pain on the patient so if you watch carefully there was aspiration here aspiration is just like drawing back like you can see so this is drawing back so you draw back so that you make sure that there is no blood you are not on any blood or arterial vessels with that being said i hope you like this video you enjoy it subscribe hit the like button i will see you on the other side of the lecture so this is the side effect you can get from using same needle after you must have aspirated from an ample bottle to administer into a patient's body so looking at this you can see that it is being discouraged to reuse that syringe or needle because this has claimed that the practice would increase the risk of skin complications such as what ecchymosis what is ecchymosis ecchymosis is just like a ready patchy skin from the video here you can see a red patch so this is an example of ecchymosis just like something that is already bu bruised so talking about the second part which is lipohypertrophy what is lipohypertrophy the accumulation of hardened fatty lumps under the skin caused by repeated injection of medications like 
insulin into the same spot, administering injection into that same spot, leading to impaired absorption and inconsistent medication effectiveness. So this is one of the practices we nurses and doctors do at times. And most of the time, these practices are being done by chews. So this is a pictorial diagram of what lipohypertrophy looks like. Remember that hypertrophy is the enlargement of an organ or a part. And lipo is just a shortened term for liposuction. That is the surgical removal of stubborn fats. Lipo. So it's a fat that is being deposited in some specific body areas. So the other one is infection-related lesions, which is an area of damage or abnormal tissue caused by a microorganism like bacterium or virus or fungus leading to symptoms like redness, pain, swelling, warmth, itching, and presence of pus. Or discharge so this is where abscess comes in you can see how it looks like how the red ready patches looks like hit the like button and i will see you on the other side of the lecture thank you